Now, please turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 11, please. 2 Corinthians chapter 11. You know, kids ask the most interesting question, but they are always actually very good questions. Okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 30. Right. Sorry. Okay, let's read together 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 30. Now, Paul says, If I must needs glory, I will glory in the things which concern mine infirmities. So the question is, what does it mean if I need glory? I will glory in things which concern mine inf- infirmities. Because last week, or previous week, we just learned, do not glory, do not boast, right? But here Paul says, if I need to glory, I will glory in things which concern my infirmities. What, so the person asks, what does it mean? What, do you, what does it mean to take glory? I thought we shouldn't glory. And what does it mean to glory in my infirmities? Okay, anyone want to try? Because you must think. I always say you think also. Christina smiling, right? Uh, what do you think Paul is saying? If you need to be proud of something that gives glory to God, then it's the things that you think are, are not good about yourself that you can praise God for giving you such things that you can give Him the glory that you will overcome. Mm, right, uh, precisely that. So what Paul is saying, look, he says that, now, before that, he say this. Uh, uh, he said he say that, now, all of you like to boast. Okay, all of you like to boast. All right, if you like to boast, then I will also tell you some things. Okay? Now, he says, I've been beaten. I uh, experienced close to death. I'm very weak. And I, I was uh, in the waters. Um, I experienced tightness, painfulness in verse 27 hunger, cold. He said, I suffer all these things. You know? So he said, now, if, if I want to glory, as uh, Christina has also uh, uh, rightly interpreted this verse, he said, then I will glory in this. You look at my life. I'm so weak. But yet God used me so mightily. You look at my life. Um, I'm full of sicknesses. I'm so um, uh, physically weak also. But yet, God enabled me to do the ministry work. Then he said, if I want to glory, then I want to tell you that I, Paul, am such a useless and weak person, but yet God can use me, will use me. What a glorious God, that His power can work even through the weakest instrument like me. Understand? So he is actually giving back glory to God. Okay? But Paul is not like us, huh? Many of us are very pretentious. God, I am so weak. God, I'm so stupid. But after that, show off. You know, I'm so stupid, but I did very well in my exam. God help me. Okay? But well, Paul is really very sincere saying that. So we must learn to be sincere also. Okay? So he was giving glory to God. Uh, Sing Yun, answer that. Okay? Glory in infirmities means that. Okay? Then you have the second part, which is. Maybe I keep that to the next. It's just a good question. Now, how does Paul be so willing to endure and suffer so much for Christ and for the elect's sake that is taken from 2 Timothy? Paul said, I, for the elect's sake, I suffer a lot of things. What does he mean? How come he's so willing? How come we are not willing to suffer for Christ like Paul? That's a good question. All right, so we answer that next also. All right, so we will come back next time. I hope the question on Sabbath is very, 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 very clear in your mind now and you are able to Answer it and it's your conviction. You live by it. No use knowing, but don't live by it. Okay? Let us pray. What do we have here? Top five reasons why church dropouts, uh, what church dropouts say, why they stop attending church. Now, please remember 66% of, well, I take the American view, um, they are the most readily available results. They stop attending church at least a year after turning 18. So, from